The holiday shopping season is almost here. For decades, shopping malls have been the place to go. But online shopping, the pandemic and other factors have led to fewer shoppers at the malls these days. And those shopping centers have been important to Iowans lives for so long, yet some of those malls are now dying. It's true. This week we're looking at how all of the metro area malls are holding up. Only on KCCI, Andrew Mullenbeck shows us the efforts to keep Merle Hay and Valley West malls alive. Merle Hay Mall and Valley West Mall have ridden over the same retail bumps in recent years, but now the shopping centers appear to be headed different directions. Valley West is in foreclosure, and it lost anchor store Von Maurer last month. Merle Hay is preparing for the Des Moines Buccaneers to transform the old Yonkers building into a new ice arena. Just one of the ways the mall is trying to stay relevant in a changing marketplace. There's no doubt about Merle Hay making it, and other malls have to do the same thing, find their path to create more than just a shopping destination. Merle Hay was the first mall in Iowa with a brewery, for example. On the east side of the mall's exterior, Kohl's has just opened a new store, and there are new spaces for other major retailers to move in. They're taking the place of the old Sears building, which was torn down last year. Inside the mall, there's a virtual reality arcade and a real place for boxing. Yet there are still plenty of empty spaces that used to be filled with stores and shoppers. Even though you might see an empty storefront right now, uh, you see there's work being done in there, so that's not really empty. This section of Merle Hay is emblematic in the mall. Some things not yet open, but a promise of what's to come. Right here, the future home of the Des Moines Buccaneers. This store is going to be a woman's boutique. And in this direction, laser tag. Different things to open soon. Down the hall, crews are busy getting ready for Kids Empire, which will be a huge play place when it opens in the spring. I like the variety that Merle Hay Mall has. It's a little bit more unique than some of the other malls. They kind of have a little bit of everything out here. For the Bucks, their new space at the mall can provide needed amenities, and they will also attract new customers to the shopping center. There are some construction delays, but the new target date to open is in 2024. I think that it would be a destination in the USHL um, to really put the Des Moines Buccaneers on the map as, as best in class in, in our league. But as these doors prepare to open five miles away at Valley West, Von Maurer's doors closing was significant and symbolic. U.S. Bank currently owns the property. A quarter billion dollar redevelopment plan pitched last year never got off the ground. It promised apartments, a hotel and entertainment center. But that project failed to get tens of millions of dollars in state assistance. It's unclear when a new buyer will step in and what the next vision might be. For now, J.C. Penney is the only remaining anchor. It may not be an enclosed mall like we see today, but I think that given its location on 235 in the center part of the metro, I think, you know, the property will get redeveloped. Malls are big places facing big challenges in the shifting retail landscape, but sometimes the little things keep people coming back. In Merle Hayes Local Eats Food Hall, Maria Angelica Tejeda grinds up corn for her homemade tamales. She does it the hard way to give customers a taste hard to find anywhere else. A mix of shops, food, and entertainment help keep malls evolving. Being cognizant of what people want, providing services that people need and use, and making those changes. That means malls will continue to look different than we remember. Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.